evidence of how Muammar Gaddafi deals with traitors. It's claimed these are Libyan soldiers who were murdered for refusing to shoot rebels in the mountainous region west of Tripoli. The pictures were sent to Al Jazeera by a rebel group in the area. A survivor of the killing says the men were rounded up, their legs tied before being shot in the head or back from close range. The pictures emerged as rebel fighters perhaps face their greatest challenge yet as they take stock of what seems a slowing of momentum in their campaign. Libyan State TV says these pictures show a rebel base recaptured by the army in the western city of Zawiya. There are reports that tank shelling of the city on Monday has been the fiercest so far. That's despite earlier claims the military had taken full control. Today at 10.30 the pro-Gaddafi forces attacked the town center. They used around 20 tanks and several cannons. They fired randomly and in all directions and today's attacks were the most intense so far. Rebels are regrouping in towns in the east of the country. The military and pro-Gaddafi forces have at least for the time being halted their advance to the Libyan leader's hometown and stronghold of Sirt. A report on Libyan State TV showed pictures it said were of rebel fighters killed in battle. The man on the microphone describes the men as rats serving a foreign agenda. These pictures have emerged purportedly showing a battle on Sunday in the town of Misrata, about 100 kilometers east of Tripoli. The amateur cameraman describes what he says is the blood of mercenaries. He says the post office was bombed by fighter jets. Gaddafi has again blamed the foreign media for distorting facts. We don't wonder who is behind the foreign media and what their interests are. We think of them as channels conspiring and twisting the facts intentionally. I do not know the aim of these channels and who benefits from this. As his propaganda campaign continues, he still seems almost oblivious to the increasing amount of civilians injured and killed. These images of wounded children were reportedly filmed in a hospital in Misrata. It's impossible to know exactly how many civilians have been killed and wounded so far. But a break in the military standoff will bring yet more intense fighting, and whatever that figure actually is, is sure to steeply rise. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.